how, how was the coaching session for you? What did you get out of that coaching session? The coaching was great. Uh, they had. You know, I worked primarily with my old couple, who are no longer the Axtells. I had uh, Marianne Taylor make uh, new figures to meet these characters, uh, Wilmer and Edna. And the coaching was um, brought out a couple things that I was aware of, but I hadn't really spent much time working on. Uh, two big things that I got. One was they really wanted Edna, the, the old woman character, to have more of a personality. Uh, when they're out there, Wilmer, the old guy, tends to dominate everything and really kind of ride roughshod everything. And I said, no, she's got to have a bit more spunk. you got to give her a bit more uh, a bit more punch, which I knew and in my head was there. I just had never brought it out. So I, that's been something I've been working on ever since. And the other one uh, really surprised me. This one caught me off guard, but it goes back to the speaking aspect of my business now. They said, well, you know, your characters are really well defined. We know who they are, but we have no idea who you are. What's your character? And I just, I didn't know how to respond to that because part of being a ventriloquist, what I like is that I hide behind the characters. Uh, I'm a nobody. Uh, I'm just the facilitator. So that was a really interesting thought process. Okay. Um, and, and how did you define your character? Uh, I haven't yet. I'm still working on that. Um, but having several of these speaking events where it's just me, and no character. I've had several now in the last few months mm -hmm. uh, of that. It's starting to come out. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Um, so you, you went from there, and then you uh, did the State Fair of Ohio. Am I correct on that? Yep. That's what I had last summer. That and was one of the – it was a week-long event. Uh, it, three how, shows a day for six days. It was fantastic. You weren't ready to walk out of there at the end of that? <laughs> I was ready to keep going. Oh, really? <laughs> I don't know. I've, I guess the state fair being as large as it is, I know I've done some of those county fairs where at the end of the week you just feel like I'm doing the same show for the same people. And, yeah. Um, you know, the state I'm fair ready is to go definitely home. not the same people. Uh, I'm expecting to have that. I've got a uh, most of the county fair work I've done has been one, maybe two days. Uh, so it's usually not the same audience. Mm -hmm. But this year I have a county fair that's going to be a six day run. Uh, and that's. It's a small community, so I'm expecting a lot of the repeats. <laughs> yeah, you'll you, you, you love that. <laughs> so now you've, you've taken this career, you've gotten the TV show, and uh, what, what kind of shows are you doing now? Are you traveling much? Talk to us a little bit about uh, the second generation, I guess, uh, career of David Crone. Yeah. Uh, travel actually has reduced. Uh, interestingly enough, uh, I have focused most of my marketing efforts on events that I know are happening in the Columbus area. So I'm specifically targeting those events with my marketing efforts. Now, I still get the calls from people that find my website and they contact me about whether they're, um, and that's okay. Uh, I did an event in Orlando a couple months ago, but that was actually through a contact that was here in Columbus. Mm -hmm. She wanted me to go down to Orlando for this convention that she was organizing. Uh, so that was a lot of fun. But I, most of my marketing efforts and my energy has gone into staying in state. I don't, I'm not really doing it on purpose, um, but I do find that I enjoy driving to events much more than flying. 